um i hope you're fine right okay so as you have seen the title of the video uh how to have a rich mindset and how to utilize the maximum of your time now since i'm busy with my life these days and it's about the academic life so i am busy right now but what about the vacation or what about the semester breaks that every student gets or it might be a break from your academic life now in those time we often think of going outside with friends going on trips exploring our countryside going to nanny houses or uh, going on a long trip with our friends now that's okay fine but what we see is that there is a change in today's generation is that i'm not see i'm not going to talk about the, the these things this generation our generation that and all and uh, let's not make it boring because i also belong to the generation of gen z so i believe that talking uh, unnecessary things which really makes it boring is really not going to be in this video so i have seen that basically to be frankly i have seen that in today's generation most of us we use our semester breaks either scrolling reels or playing video games now playing video games and scrolling reels is nothing that has to do something wrong with us but the wrong is i believe that to have our best version or to utilize most or maximum of our time in these two things now i think you are getting it like what i'm trying to say see we have got so many time um maximum days or um month but in those days or in those time we have used almost 30 days or almost most of our time in just scrolling reels or playing video games not even outside games like playing basketball football or running so i believe this has to bring a change in our in our body and also in our mind because if there is alteration in our life or lifestyle then i believe there is a negative impact now since i'm talking about the negative impact it really affects your way of seeing your life or to visualize what is the next future or what you are going to be in the next coming years so if you have that narrow sight of looking into your life or in looking into your time then i believe there are no such productive thoughts or new innovative ideas coming to your mind most of my friends or colleagues or even your friends might be saying that uh, nothing is going right with my life i'm just broke i am just sad and i'm just depressed with my life because i can't do anything i'm a loser so those intrusive things comes on in our mind when we are actually like being cut off from the actual world now being actual world i mean to say to go outside with your friends and have conversations or to have some time spent with your friends those things are actually normal which really helps you 
release all the inner stress and also it leads you towards the future but when we are cut off from these things the simple things like how we are getting cut by these things is the use of social medias but the social media is not the problem the problem is we are just making our life to be scrolling reels or to play video games or to be busy in the virtual world like most of the time i used to be busy in the virtual world like i used to be playing video games talking about myself i used in uh, past two years i was busy in playing either video games or scrolling reels but then i got to realize that this is really taking me in a different world where i do not think that it would really be beneficial or either it would bring a change in my life so if you notice the things that are going around you then you'll realize that you are visualizing your life to be small or you are visualizing your life to be just to scroll reels and to be sad or to relate yourself with the contents that are being shared in the internet or to spend your sudden time or to release your stress by playing the games in the internet so i believe that you can have a better version a better than that what if i can give you some of the things which really can be the best version of yourself talking about myself i've got 30 days let's take it as your vacation or a semester break now what i'm going to do is that i am going to use every single day as the last day of my life do you get it i use every day as the last day of my life now what do I mean by last day of my life is that today is the first day of my month vacation month or semester break now the, on the first day I've started reading a book I'm talking about my semester break how I have utilized and I believe that I have used the maximum of it so if you really think that uh, you can have more than what you are doing right now then i believe brother you need to change so if you are with this or if you have just watched this video till now till here then i believe you have some thought in your mind that you think uh, you are doing wrong and you are in the wrong place so if you want to get out from that gutter and you want some change then i believe you are being serious and you want some tips so I believe if you have watched or you are listening till now then you are damn serious about your life now as I'm saying that on the first day I have started reading a book on the second day I have started reading a newspaper and also the previous book because I have to complete one book in two or three days on the third day i have started do you see the track how it's increasing how i'm increasing my potential so on the third day i've started reading newspaper i've started spending time in reading some books like novels or comics also i've gone outside to have a running a short running time so i have gone for a long run also have read newspapers and also have read books on the fourth day i have gone outside with my friend on a long trip also i have when i returned i have started reading my books like the novels that i continued yesterday and also i haven't forgot to read the newspapers 
so i have spent the five days of my life and these five days i have done so many things i've gone outside with my friends i've read newspapers i have read novels and also i have gone for a long run so these things are making me improve myself improve this version do you get it see on the first day i have started with a small thing and that small thing is actually the start so everything starts with a small thing so if you want to bring change in your life then you have to start with that small thing but maximum or most of us deny and ignores to start with that small thing so i believe if you can see that i have spent five days of my semester break so fruitfully so this is the thing that really you need to implement in your life if you want to have the better version of my or of your life so you have seen that there is a broad perspective of your life or the things that you see in a narrow way of looking into things how the things are going in your life the things would go in the way you want you are wanting your life to be in a small thing or to be in a small way smaller way so you are just spending your time either in scrolling reels or playing video games or be busy in the virtual world so the thing is if you want change in your life then you have to see that there are more better things than that and rest of the days i've spent reading books reading newspapers going outside with my friends having social talks social talks is necessary because i believe that it really helps you to discuss how your life is going what was the past and now you have to move forward so the moving forward things can be discussed with your friends if you have no social uh, discussions or social talks or social discussions with your friends then there is no such kind of moving forward in your life you are stuck with your life nothing is going wrong nothing is going right you have no one to judge you have no one to monitor yourself so i believe to monitor you you need friends your friends will monitor you what your life is going and what are you doing with your life and i believe that those criticism that you get from your friends when you go outside hang out with friends is necessary because if you have no criticism in your life then you do not know your mistakes so most of us are afraid to be social or to be extrovert just because we think ourselves to be introvert or is it just like we want to spend our time being at our home playing with video games or being busy scrolling reels being an introvert is not a gift of god but it is actually the lack of extrovertness or the lack of social skills that you have so it is not or it is nothing that you have to be embracing or it is nothing that you have to be proud of but instead most of us forget that the introvertness that you have is actually because of the lack of social skills that you have or the lack of communication skills that you have so i believe most of us in today's generation portrays ourselves with the self thought that we are born introvert and the way we behave with others is to be in the way of an introvert but that is actually false and i believe humans are social beings and without social talks and social hangouts with your friends or community there is no such going forward in your life so this is also another thing that we must keep in mind that uh, 
most of us are doing this mistakes, pity mistakes, because we think ourselves as introverts. So this is the thing that you need to change. And if I show you that what is the thing that I have done or what are the things that I have done uh, in today's or in the semester break that I've got, you can see an image on the screen. In this image, you are going to see all the books that I have read within this 30 days that I've got. So as you can see, I have read almost seven books. Now, this is something which is not only making myself to be the best version, but also it is contributing in improving my communication skills, improving my English. And that thing is really going to contribute to the people that are around me. It is going to give a new look to their way of judging me if they have judged me being uh, useless or worthless being busy with video games and social media all the time then that thing is going to change if you see if you inculcate this new things like i have read almost seven or eight books within this 30 days of break that i have got and this is going to bring a change so this is nothing that starts with a big thing or you have to do a really big but it all starts with a small start so by that i mean to say that you have to start a new thing other than that if you like painting you can start drawing a painting if you like to play sports like out i'm talking about the outdoor sports like uh which really helps you physically and also mentally so if you are good in sports you can hang out with friends and go play badminton or if you are good in acting skills or you like to do act then you can play some acting videos you can learn from it or also you can have a act video and upload or you can go with friends and you can practice your acts so there are certain things which are actually entitled to be hobbies but actually those hobbies are our passions and if you have no passion in your life then i believe you are being in 99 percent of the crowd so if you want to be a better person or if you want to have the best version of yourself then you have to do something you have to do something different no matter about the criticism or no fear of having the outcomes you do not have to worry about what will be the outcome if i start something new but you have to keep starting you have to keep doing works right without starting anything you cannot be the chains you cannot have the chains in yourself so if you are doing the same mistake and you're repeating with what your friends are doing then i believe that you are in the average crowd so if you are in the average crowd, there is no such change that you can bring in your life. Not much change that you can bring. So as I've told you that you can get attached with your passions or with your hobbies. By doing that, you will notice one thing that you will automatically hate doing the thing that you are doing right now. Or most of the people in today's generation are doing. They are either scrolling reels or being busy in the social media or being busy in indulging themselves in the content sharing like sharing reels or watching controversial reels all the day all night so in this podcast i believe that you have got the way that life is not worthless you are not worthless most of us entitle ourselves in today's world or in today's generation we have seen we have noticed or i have noticed that most of us think that we are worthless we are doing nothing my life is in the bad phase my friend everyone's face is going bad not yours or not me but everyone no one is having the best day of their uh, dream 
or they are not having the day that they have dreamt of but they are doing their work they have not stopped working so that is the thing that you do not have to stop working just because your day is going bad by doing that you will not move forward but also you will stop living your life so start living your life how to start live your life indulge yourself in your hobbies your passions and at least start doing your thing with a small start without a small start there is no such big thing coming in your life so i believe with this podcast if you are still listening right now then i believe you have got to know that life is not worthless our time is not worthless we can have the maximum utilization of our life by doing all these things if you start a work if you utilize every second of your life by investing your time which really brings change in your life then i believe you are in the one person of the crowd staying out of the 99 percent of the average people what they are doing right now <clears throat> and if you are in this one person then i believe you are a rich person already because you are investing your time in yourself and the common trait that you will see in most of the richest person in today's world or the richest person right now or the top one person then you will notice that they are investing they are investing in time they're investing their time in those things that really brings change in their life in practical and also it makes them the better and better and better as the time goes on so if you want to stay in the crowd then i believe there is no such rich mindset coming in your mind if you are listening to this video then i believe you are in the one person because you want to change your life so i believe at least this video or this podcast has brought a change in your life and uh so that is the thing that uh, I utilized my semester break or holidays, whatever you get. Start doing. Do not wait for the best time. It is the best time. When you start already, then you are almost in the one person. And you are with the rich mindset. So if you start working with everyday task that you love to do then i believe you are in the one person and if you are in the one person then you are rich already so this is how you can utilize your time like uh, reading books reading newspapers going outside with a friend exploring places writing diaries there's so many things that we have to do but since the time has come that we are feeling worthless or we believe that we are worthless it is because of the influence of these two things that we are doing or most of us are doing that is scrolling reels and playing video games in the internet whole day so if you can skip and get out of these two things get rid of these two things then i believe your you will observe that your life has changed already you are getting out of the crowd you are making yourself the best version of yourself that you were yesterday and you are having the rich mindset because you are in the one person so i believe this uh podcast has helped you in some way and if you have really got to learn something or if you think that there was a little bit of contribution about how you can utilize the maximum of your time and how to have the rich mindset then do share this video with your friends hope i would meet you on another next video very soon thank you